discrimination. Cancer is protected by the ADA. Discrimination based on cancer is illegal. Employers with 15 full-time equivalent employees, government agencies, government services, including education and private businesses offering goods and services to the public are all covered by the ADA um, and can't discriminate against you and must provide reasonable accommodations. Discrimination comes in a variety of forms. We'll talk about some examples that are exclusion, some that are based on association with an individual who has a disability, based on accommodations, uh, and based on retaliation having disclosed your disability, on how you are treated. Forms of discrimination include limiting, segregating, or classifying a job applicant or employee in a way that adversely affects the individual's opportunities. So that's that exclusion. Participating in a contractual arrangement that has the effect of discriminating. So if your company hires out uh, custodial services and that custodial service discriminates, that's your company discriminating. Uh, you can't discriminate by contract. Uh, using standards or criteria that have the effect of discriminating. So when you set workplace standards uh, for uh, hire, when you set standards for continuing employment that are based on disability and health rather than based on business necessity and job duties, that would be discrimination. Associational discrimination is when a spouse or a child or a family member has a disability uh, or when you participate in an event that's around something with a disability, like a, uh, a walk or a, mer a fundraising event of some sort, and people treat you differently based on your association with individuals who have disabilities. Not making reasonable accommodations uh, when requested. Using qualification standards that screen out people. I kind of mentioned that once already in using standards. Uh, and failing to administer tests on a non-discriminatory basis. So if you have a certification test or a, a credentialing test in the workplace and it's not administered fairly and with appropriate accommodations as needed, then that would be discriminatory as well. Associational discrimination is really treating someone differently because of a known disability of an individual with whom that, qualify, that employee is known to have a relationship. So if my wife has cancer, if my wife has a disability, and they're concerned about promoting me because I might need to take time off for my wife's care, that would be discrimination by association. Um, not making reasonable accommodations. You have to be qualified to perform your job, but you can perform your job with reasonable accommodations. Modification or tools, to, modifications to the process, uh, to the schedule, to those kinds of things. Adaptive computer software to help if your vision has been impacted, um, if your ability to deal with contrast has been uh, impacted, if your mobility with the mouse has been impacted, those would all be reasonable accommodations. Uh, you can seek accommodations that would facilitate performing your job. It has to be connected to your job. Um, and in the process of being accommodated, you still have to do the essential elements of your job. You can't waive or accommodate away the purpose of your job. So if um, I'm a warehouse employee and my job is shelving and pulling off the shelf, I might get a tool that is a lift on, on, a, on a motor that I can roll up to the shelf, raise up to the right level, pull off the item without having to bend or lift too much, move it on to where it needs to go. That would be a reasonable accommodation. But I can't, as a warehouse shelver, say, as an accommodation, what I need is to never lift anything. Um, I might need to look at another job within the company and there are some protections there, but that would not be reasonable for the accommodation within that job as a shelver, so to speak. Um, retaliation is a negative action in response to letting someone know you had a disability. Um, it 
if it has an adverse employment action, there may be direct, uh, a direct discrimination complaint. Um, so if it limits your uh, ability to get a raise, to get a promotion, if you get demoted or transferred to a less, uh, a less um, productive, um, less compensating position, uh, if you're bullied or teased uh, about your disability and you let your supervisor know, you let your company know if it's your supervisor and they don't respond to controlling that behavior, those are all things that would qualify as discrimination through the retaliation uh, section of the ADA. 